any Toastmasters meeting, the table topics. Rahul Smedley, the founder, has beautifully segmented every meeting in Toastmasters that will render positive and learning experience for every member. So prepared speeches gives you an opportunity to come prepared, deliver it, like a technical presentation that we saw today, a research and presentation, or speak right out from the heart like Amin did today in an icebreaker. In a table topic segment, given a topic, how well can you handle it for one to two minutes? And this is exactly what we face in our everyday life, isn't it? None of our clients are ready to give us one day and say, oh yes, please go back to your desk, think about it, you can come back when you have an answer. No one says that, right? They want solutions right there at the moment. The right choice of words and how well we articulate in just a short span of time matters the most, isn't it? Participating in Table Topics Contest has really improved me and a lot of my friends that I've heard feedback from that it has improved their impromptu speaking skills. And how do we improve? By coming here and participating in a Table Topics uh, segment without shying away. For today's Table Topics segment, I have chosen a theme. Because I was recently interacting with my son and I was helping him with English grammar. And he was introduced to this new topic called phrasal verbs. Yes, phrasal verbs. So what are phrasal verbs? So you have a verb and the suffix of the verb, verb is an action, right? Suffix of the verb, at the end, we have a preposition, like up, down, on, off, right? Together with the verb and the preposition will give a new meaning altogether. For example, mm, let's say breakdown. Break is a verb and down is a preposition, but together, breakdown means to stop Failure. functioning, yeah? Failure. To fail, yeah, to stop functioning. And a, and, a, and a usage in a sentence, for example, could be, we were on the way to the party when our car broke down. <coughs> Here, break is in the past tense, which is broke down, which is fine. So a verb with a preposition gives a totally new meaning. So what are we going to do today? I have about 50 phrasal verbs, <laughs> and you are given a choice to choose a number from 1 to 50. I will give you the word. If you don't know the actual uh, meaning of the phrasal verb, I'll give you the meaning as well. Try and use it once at least when you're doing your table talk. Yeah? So for example, breakdown is the phrasal verb that you got. Then you can probably, after knowing the meaning, you can probably say, so we planned on a trip uh, and then build a story. So my friends and I, we planned on, we got onto the car, we went on the way near Mahabali from this happened and all that. Try and use the phrasal verb at least once. Can you all try? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Perfect. Okay. So